Hey everybody, today I bring you more of the Shopkins Happy Places Royal Trends. And today we're reviewing the Squirrely Palace Party. And this one's really cool. Um, I know I've said it in another video, but check out the packaging. It's pretty sparkly and holographic and cool. It doesn't have, it's not using all that paper and plastic that the last one does. And I'm sure a lot of people, a lot of the environmentalist types are happy about that. <laughs> But um, there's a cool picture of the palace in the back. Um, let's see. It doesn't say anything different on this one than it did on our last one. But I will do a close-up so you can pause um, and read that on your own. So this is Princess uh, Pretty Pressy. Anyone who isn't a vivid shoppy collector knows that we've seen a couple versions of Pretty Pressy. Pressy but this is the first time that we've seen Pretty Pressy um, in the smaller version. So... Uh, it looks like she also comes with a shiny DJ booth. So this is going to be the little party area for our palace. So let's just go ahead and open her up and get her out. And I will just give you a quick look at the checklist again on this in this uh, video. We've already looked at it before. Uh, you have Princess Moonbeam in the Moon Bunny bedroom. You have uh, Princess Glossy which we have already unboxed um, with the fabulous Fox Vanity. You have Princess Pretty Presty with the Squirrel Palace Party, which we're unboxing today. And then you have uh, Princess Katie Pops with the, um, the Sweet Kitty Candy Bar. So, well, that's going to be a cool one. I'm actually really excited for um, Princess Moonbeam, but let's just check out the girl we have right now and not get ahead of ourselves. Uh, first up, um, we have, here is our DJ booth, and this booth is pretty cool. Um, we have a squirrel face right off the bat with a painted, um, yellowy gold crayon, crayon, crown, <laughs> and you can see the speakers in the front. Uh, they almost look like they have butterflies. Are those supposed to be butterflies? I don't know, but they're painted white, and then we have the metallic base, that's metallic -y, uh, dark pink. Light face squirrel, uh, light pink presents, and then we have a um, light blue present, and then we have this cool little awning that swirls around from, I think it's supposed to be like present ribbons, because you, you have like the blue ribbon on the top, and it swirls around and goes on the other one, and then on top you have this really, I don't really know how to describe it, if anyone remembers the Shopkins that they did for um, World... World Vacation? Uh, for the... Was it World Vacation? I think it was World Vacation. They did, like, these pearlescent, hard plastic, uh... Ultra Rares for the Americas. That's the, uh, type of... That's the type of, um, finish you have going on with these. And it's really hard for me to capture on camera. Um. Yeah. So it's really sparkly and pearlescent and, and, a, and a white color. And you've got the same thing going on with the uh, turntables in the back here. So it's a harder plastic. But we also have details, that, unnecessary details over here. We have this keypad. And then we have all the dials over here and the switches. So you can really have a good time with this DJ booth. It's cute. Okay. So let's go on to our next one. We have this heart wand or balloon. I'm not really sure exactly what this is supposed to be. Um, again, um, I, like I said in the last video, they don't seem to have any description as to what anything is. I guess you're just supposed to know. <laughs> they stopped doing that. But um, so you can see here, uh, you see the squirrel face, and then you have the heart, and then you got the ridges around the heart, and then you have a really um, metallic-y dark pink for the crown, and then we have a blue... A uh, hard plastic, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Well, you have a blue, blue hard plastic on the string or the, the wand itself. I think I know where the wand goes, guys. <laughs> so, um, here we have a present that is, um, based with the light pink. And you can see that there's a dark pink metallic paint on the bow above it, and then you have a more hearts with a little bit of butterfly on top of it, on above that, and then above that we have um, 
balloons that are painted blue with a crown. And then I think this might be another balloon that just pops in the top here to give it a little bit more dimension. So that is pretty awesome. It's an unusable present though. It doesn't open, I don't think. It's just a solid piece, but um, it's cool. And then our next one we have here, it looks like a punch bowl. So that's pretty cool. Um, it, it has a metallic-y... I can get this to even focus. It's got a metallic-y melon-colored hard plastic inside. And then it goes from a yellow to a red in an ombre effect. You can see the crown uh, design that goes around it. And you get some sparkles on the bottom. And then the um, ladle itself to scoop the punch out has a white handle, but it's inside. You can't actually get it out, so it's not a part anymore. So it looks like they did away with some of the smaller parts. And here is a punch cup that has um, that's orange and it fades into a yellow. And you can see it has the same design as the punch bowl. Unfortunately, it's empty and there's going to be no way to get any of that punch out. So, But it, it does have a little spot where you can hang it. Right on the side of this punch bowl here. So that's pretty cool, except for it's only punch for one. <laughs> I believe this is supposed to be a DJ chair. Um, there's a big giant heart. Oh no, it's balloons. Okay, it looks like a heart from the front. When you turn it around, it's actually two metallic pink balloons. And it looks like there's supposed to look, it's supposed to look like there's a yellow balloon too. But the yellow balloon gets a bit drowned out. And um, here's the surface of the light pink seat and then the bottom is a harder different uh, plastic that's blue it's kind of pro probably supposed to look like the strings you can see them coming out but I'm, I'm assuming it goes right behind here so she can sit I'm guessing anyway oh it could be a table it could be a punch table maybe that makes a little bit more sense I think it's a punch table because you're gonna stand if you're DJing so let's go ahead and get Pretty Pressy, Princess Pretty Pressy out herself. So here she is, and she really, they really stayed true, to, stayed true to her character. If you guys can remember, um, Pretty Pressy, her one of her looks is the fact that she has a bow. Or her hair is like tied into a bow, like it actually is her hair. <laughs> and then it looks like she has some side bangs that sweep behind, and then her hair itself is parted in the middle. She has a small ponytail that's up into the side that goes through her metallic gold crown. She also has a little bit of painting detail in her hair. She, she's got that little ribbon on the side here that flows into her eyes that are both pink. Uh, she has a different uh, facial expression than the last girl we opened. She has her all of her teeth showing and then her paint, her, she has a, her um, lips are the same color as her bow. She does have a little bit of um, paint a little bit of paint flaw going on in her mouth um, it's not too bothersome in this one um, it's dealable uh, and her outfit is light pink with dark peak details on the sleeve and around the edges of the bottom of the dress and then you have a yellow bow to go with her yellow um, molded on tights that have a little swirl design and her shoes are the same color blue as her hair. Her outfit is removable and exchangeable on other little shoppies, but you can see that she's wearing a pink bathing suit underneath. Now, one of the cool things about these shop little shoppies is that she's wearing her day wear right now, but if she wants to have an evening and wear a gown, uh, this just pops on and then then you seamlessly have this look. So I think, honestly, that it's pretty awesome how you can go with the uh, short dress that, and it moves, it changes right into the long dress and it's seamless. Uh, um, and uh, I forgot to talk about the articulation. It's limited on these guys, but not, it, it, it's, you, you know, their arms can move up and down, their head can move back and forth, and uh, they can sit or stand. Um, so here you have it. There she is DJing. That's Princess Pretty, Princess Pressy, and Princess. Let's see if I can say this again. Princess Pretty Pressy, 
and the Squirrel Palace Party. So there it is for you guys. And that's all we have for you today. Um, comment below. Let me know uh, what you think about the new um, Royals. Um, the new Royal Trends. Uh, happy Places. Are you excited for the castle? Because I know I am. And which one, which set and which girl are you looking forward to um, adding to your collection or seeing or whatever. Um, yeah, so we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.